Kathy White, Certified Professional Ergonomist, and I'm here to talk to you all about home computer ergonomic workstation setup. I previously recorded a video talking about a seated workstation and how to really set that up ergonomically. I talked about alternating from a seated position to a standing position, and that's what we're going to be talking about today. We're going to talk about how to set up a standing workstation for ergonomic success. As I've mentioned before, as human beings, we're designed to be moving around throughout the day. And if we have the ability to move from a seated position to a standing position at home, all the better to allow us to incorporate some movement in our day. So we're gonna go ahead and apply the same kind of methodology that we did with how to set up your seated workstation. We're gonna talk about posture, we're gonna work from the bottom up, and we're gonna start with our feet. You can see I'm in my kitchen, and I'm on actually a tile floor. Chances are you're on some sort of hard work surface if you're at home and you're standing. So be cognizant of that, be aware of that, and think about what you can do to support your feet. I'm wearing supportive footwear. Some of you may have floor mats in your kitchens that you're already using, and if you can take advantage of that, all the better. Make sure your feet are about shoulder width apart. Make sure you're balanced between the right and left sides. A lot of times you might not think about it, but you're shifting your weight from one side to another. You wanna make sure you maintain balance all the way from the feet on up. Now working up from the feet, I'm going to move back here to this orientation where we wanna keep our shins about vertical as well as our upper thighs. And something to think about with your knees is making sure you're not hyperextending them. And by that, I mean straightening them out so much that you're actually putting strain on your knees. So you wanna make sure you have a little bit of bend with your knees so you don't have that strain while you're maintaining that balance between the right and left sides. So if you can imagine a vertical line from your ankle to your knee to your hip, you want all of that nicely aligned and then that really leads to having a supportive posture with your upper body and keeping strain off of your back as well, avoiding any bending forward or back. And that's something we're gonna to continue to talk about as we actually move to your computer workstation itself. Likely you have some sort of laptop device. Keyboard is connected to the monitor. What we want to avoid is this kind of situation where you're bending forward, you're trying to look at the screen because you're trying to keep your forearms about parallel here, you're trying to keep your wrist straight, now you're bending forward to look at the screen. Conversely, we also want to avoid the scenario where maybe this displays at a good height for your head and neck, but now you've got your hands out of position where you can see my forearms are definitely not parallel to the floor. So what can we do? This is where we can take advantage of some props and some external devices. I talked before about some really critical accessories that I would highly encourage you to have on hand. One of those is an external mouse and the other one is an external keyboard. So this will help a lot with eliminating issues with flicking your wrist around, allowing you to type and be more comfortable. But you also need to make sure as you operate these devices that you're at the right height. And if you look at me, and most common for a lot of your kitchen counters, you're probably gonna be rather low if you're standing and trying to work off of these devices. So this is where you get to play around with whatever props you may have at home. And for me, I'm using a box to be able to get myself in a better position, a more neutral position. And you can see I would actually benefit from something a little bit wider. You could maybe have a box for your keyboard and have another one available for your mouse because you wanna make sure you have enough space to operate this mouse so that you're not flicking your wrist while you're mousing. So now you can see my forearms are about parallel, as mentioned, wrists are straight, but my monitor is very low. So even if I was at this optimal height for my arms, I'm definitely not at the right height for head and neck posture. I want my line of sight, that horizontal line extending from my eyes to hit the top third of the screen. So again, this is where you can take advantage of existing props that you likely have at home, and I'm using another box to get myself at that height. Something you'd wanna be mindful of is making sure you have a stable surface. I've tried to stack multiple boxes in the past. That can be a little unstable. You don't want anything to happen to your dear computer. So just be mindful of that. And you want to then apply all of the same practices that we talked about before with taking breaks for your eyes, 
moving away from your workstation every 20 to 30 minutes or so and do something else. And again, you can then go from this setup to a seated setup, maybe alternate that. Ideally, it would be fantastic every 30 minutes or so, but you could go potentially a little bit longer when you have an optimal setup and you just take some breaks in those activities as well. I hope this information helps you with setting up your standing workstation.